Are you a subject matter expert who struggles to speak with confidence? Are you losing career opportunities and feeling stuck because of your stage fear and nervousness during presentations? Isn't that affecting your happiness and your family's future? Welcome to the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bashal Sarkar, India's celebrity expert in practical public speaking, where he shows you how to speak with confidence, deliver rock solid confident presentations in front of decision makers without any stage fear. Would you like to become the confident man, gain more respect, and enjoy a happy life? Then listen carefully because this is showtime. For knowing more about the upcoming practical public speaking courses and opportunities to get mentored by Mr. Bishal himself, go to bishalsarkar.com. Again, you can go to bishalsarkar.com. For more information about having a conversation with our team members about your situation, show starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. This is The Confident Man Show. And I am Anupama Chatterjee. Today I'm talking with Mr. Vishal Sarkar. And today we are speaking about how your childhood is responsible for your stage fear. That's right. So Vishal, how do you feel that your childhood is responsible for your stage fear? Uh, that's a great question. I think that's a great topic. You know, whether you are during Christmas time or any time, remember that you should always, always look at your past and celebrate that. Like now, if you know my story, Anupama, you know that I was not born in a great family, right? I was not born and brought up with a silver spoon or a golden spoon or a right. diamond spoon in, in, in my <laughs> mouth or in, in anywhere. So I had a tough beginning. I think that's a, that's a blessing in disguise, though, because growing up, I did not have great confidence. Growing up, I did not mm-hmm. have great people around me who, who could support me all the time. And right. if you know my story, I'm an actually an introverted person. Yes. So people think, how do you create all that? In fact, let me ask you a question. How was your childhood? My childhood was pretty awesome, though there are a few incidents how my childhood is also responsible right. for my stage fear. Right. Like one of the times I mm-hmm. went onto the stage, I used to become first in every standard. So once I was in, I think in class two or three, I went to the stage to take the prize that I got. And it was in the prayer assembly, there was a stage and I went up and the teacher asked me to show my prize to everybody and say, thank you. And I was so afraid that I took the pen. The prize was a pen. Mm -hmm. I took the pen. I looked at everybody. I smiled and I got down from the stage even without saying thank you. Because you were nervous? Because I was nervous. Absolutely. And let me tell you, there are a few reasons why it happens. If you look at your childhood days, there are many different reasons why the seed of fear was installed in the soil. Now think about this. You know, if you look at, if you talk to any farmers, they will tell you that it's not just you, like, think about this. You can't put a mango seed on a cement and expect this to grow (laughs) to a tree, right? No. The the soil has to be fertile. Now, what do you think? When is the soil called the mind is most fertile in the initial days of a life or or, or after 30 years? What do you think? Of course, in the childhood, it's said that the first few years of a childhood, the first five years of a child's life is the most important environment. Right. In fact, Michael Brown says that, give me a child for the first seven years and I'll give you the man for the rest of your life. I mean, if you can develop them in the initial first wow. seven years, it, it changes everything. And I learned it from my mentor, Jason, from USA, Sedona, Arizona. And the reason many times those fears are installed in you, like nobody's doing it intentionally, Anupama, but it's happening to you, right? Yes. So let me give you some examples of, of all the people who are listening right now. So if you are listening to this, Maybe it's going to relate to you because number one, the most important reason many people have the stage fear starting from the childhood is because of pressure, peer pressure. Like you have to perform well. You have to come first. You have to do this. Hasn't that happened to you? Because you are a first, you know, top topper. I I have never been a topper. I just stopped once in a <laughs> mathematical examination in class four. I got 99. Second time I got 92 in English in my HS examination 12. But apart from that, I've never been first in anything. So let me ask you, you have been a topper. You told me, haven't you ever had a pressure of performance? Yeah, year after year being a topper puts invisible pressure on you to become, to retain that every single year successfully through class third standard, fourth standard, fifth standard. And after that sixth standard, right. it creates a continuous pressure, you know. Exactly. It creates continuous pressure. And maybe the people who put the pressure in us want the best for us. Like, I want you to be great, son. I want you exactly. to be great, daughter. But the effect of that is we think, oh, my God, I have to perform. Otherwise, da, 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 da. that means what? I'm, I'm being afraid. I have to become first. Otherwise, they won't love me. Otherwise, they won't respect me. Now, think about that. 
what happens after that you go to college i have to i have to get that my space in the iim or iit or any you know not, nothing against iit or iim any college otherwise then i go for a job interview i have to say all the right things otherwise they won't hire me so another you know trick that many people use <laughs> this 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 average people not these average people i mean many average people tell many average trainers tell that well so when when an, in an interview somebody asks you what's your negative point you say something positive and position it and negative huh well say i'm a perfectionist i want every my negative point is i'm a perfectionist i want all the projects to be done on time now think about this if 10 people are saying the same thing it's a lie <laughs> it's a lie so that's that's because of the pressure we do that because we always are looking for the approval so that's the first thing let's come to the second part of number more right okay what's I think the second part the, i think the second reason in your childhood days you create your stage fear is because of comparison have you ever been compared to somebody else all the time even now every time i do something i perform something yeah. i bring a tv to my home my mother will say why didn't you get that one right. that one was better that one was better and that one is better because my neighbor bought that one <laughs> right for example maybe not not about you it happens in my family all the time like can we get that color paint can we get that switchboard uh, because they have that switchboard because it's all now nothing to blame it's because of the programming that we have built with right uh, we have been built with oh uh, uh, yeah how much did you get 84 how much did so big oh he got 87 oh my god like now the 84 doesn't matter now like it's all about 87 it's always greener on the other side it's always greener on the other side so the comparison always created that it it happened to me many times i was always compared in my childhood days and the third i think is it's a tough one and it's going to hit some people who are listening to it right now nupama the third one is behavior i think a lot of behaviors in the earlier childhood days can really mess up with a lot of people so let me give an example you know the story probably i have said it once in the confident expert daily mentoring that goes out every single morning at 9:45 am to all the people who have subscribed if you don't know how to do it just co- go to confidenceiq.com now the behavior i've told the story before uh, when i was i think 12 11 12 year old one of my cousin brothers bless him once it was an afternoon time i was at their home mm-hmm. a lot of people i think it was some kind of puja or celebration you know people come together in our in our culture and i don't remember exactly what happened because that was many years back and he was about 13 14 year elder than me right so he was okay. around 26 25 at that time mm-hmm. and i think i did something wrong or maybe and i was standing on a dining table see at the age of 10 11 you can do that right <laughs> now if i stand on a dining table today that's a whole different thing people will see me as food but I was standing on a dining table and I remember something happened but nothing huge and I remember he slapped me so hard I fell down from the table to the ground like oh my God. Bam, and there was a pause like silence in the room and I started crying like you know when when you hit a kid he doesn't cry immediately he creates he or she cries maybe 4 5 seconds because in the <laughs> first 4 5 seconds he's like what the have happened right <laughs> so and then I started crying and I was looking around at all the people I thought they would say something to my cousin brother Yes. Nobody did. Really? And then I realized that if something bad happens to you, you just suck it up. You don't say anything. You don't raise your voice. That was the message I got. So, guess totally. what? So when I went to my um, you know, school and colleges, I thought if something is happening wrong, I shouldn't say anything because otherwise I'll get slapped and nobody will help me. That created that stage fear. In fact, I'm going to tell something to you right now. I got an email recently. I'm going to read it out quickly. It came from Vikas from Delhi. I'm not going to tell everything about him because I want to protect his privacy. That's exactly what I do on Upama, right? Sure. I, I don't want to give away too much information about the person because it might embarrass them. Absolutely. So because if you know who we Vikas, there are like, how many Vikas do you think there will be in New Delhi? maybe a few thousand a few thousand so we are in good thing he said you are so true bishal uh, in my case it has been my father he is one figure which has influenced me negatively slapped me number of times in public or in school and now that i'm 40 i've lived all this life with fears of making mistakes because of the treatment that i've received from him he still acts bossy around at home dominating everyone at home no one now likes him and i'm sure he receives negative vibes from everybody except money he has failed on all other accounts and he has all he always reminds me one thing that now he has spent money on all our studies every time he will just give one excuse that that he has spent a lot of money for us and i don't deny that too but i'm sure in the books of parenting there is a lot of more money there is lot more than money involved when it comes to nourishing your child absolutely you see now this guy is 40 year old but he still remembers the initial memories so these are the three things you know pressure comparison and behavior three things pressure comparison and behavior we got actually a few questions that we have right. from a few people if you could just answer any of them bishal that would let's be let's pick one your favorite 
You are the co-host of the show. You are the owner of the show. So let's talk about whatever you want to choose. Quickly. Really? Okay. I'll take one question and mm-hmm. the letter starts, the person's name starts with A. A for not Anupama, but A for Amit. <laughs> and I'm That's sure... That's why you chose that name. Exactly. Right. Amit from Bangalore. Now, I'm sure that are, there are a lot more thousands of Amit in Bangalore than in Delhi. So Amit, here goes your question. So his question is, after graduating from IIT and working for MNCs... No, for eight, we spoke about <laughs> IIT a few minutes back. All right, now go. 18 plus years working in IIT and leading various teams, mm-hmm. I still have that stage fear and lack of confidence when addressing large audience. Mm-hmm. The limitation is limiting my career yeah. and my personal growth. I want to explore opportunities to realize my full potential. And your course seems very interesting and right fit. Now, Amit, if you're listening to the show, here is the man, Vishal. How would you answer that? That's a great question. OK, now, Amit, first of all, congratulations for getting graduating from IIT. I've never I mean, I've got invitations to speak there, but I've never been selected there. But no, that's amazing. So you have worked for 18 years leading various teams and you still have the stage fear. So your question is you want to explore the opportunity to realize your fullest potential. And my course seems interesting to you and the right fit. I don't know. I don't I don't hear a specific question. Maybe his question is like, how do I overcome this limitation that is limiting my career? I think what you need to do right now, Amit, is first of all, see, there are different ways to solve a problem, right? When you have a tooth problem, you can do what we do, which is do home remedy. You know, yes. taking a toothpick and some oil and putting into the teeth and thinking it will go now. It doesn't go. Then tomorrow you come again. And then what you do is completely think about many different things. You go around, eat painkiller. Then you go to a doctor. Because a doctor, what he does is he doesn't give you immediate remedy, but he diagnoses something. So I think we need to do a proper diagnosis for you, Amit. So now, right. whoever that person is, you know, I, I'll just tell you this. The reason I don't select everybody for our mentoring courses is because we, first of all, have to find out a proper diagnosis for people. See, that's the thing we do for all the people we have recently mentoring. Alok, Vinod, Bharati, Prema, Nagesh, all the people that we mentor, we diagnose. So first of all, you have right. to find out which one of those things actually created the stage fear in you. Was it pressure? Was it comparison? Was it, was it behavior? I mean, Maybe there are different things. Maybe you are afraid of failing in front of people because you think I have 18 years of experience. What do I do? So finding that out and then figuring out a solution is going to be your thing to do. So that's my answer for you, Amit. Thank you, Bishal. Amit, I'm sure that answers your question. And now you know how your childhood has affected your stage fear, your fear in life. And if you want to know more about this, if you want to learn more, you know who you are and you know how to reach out to me, of course. And now the topic for next week that we have is the number one impression killer for men and how we overcome it. So come back to us next week and we will discuss about what is the number one impression killer for men and some women and how to fix that. Vishal, what's the last word for today? My last word is always the same. Always remember that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. connection. Congratulations for listening to today's show. If you're ready to become the confident man in your own life, go to bishalsarkar.com and apply for a conversation today. For that, go to bishalsarkar.com. All right, time for me to go. Have a confident day.